Yes, it's that time of day. It's time for Winner Home on Afternoon Express, where you stand the chance to win a luxury apartment on the Valdevi estate valued at over 3 million rand. Over the next few weeks, we'll be taking a look at some beautiful properties listed on privateproperty.co.za and specific rooms in them. Today, we focus on the guest bedroom, and joining us in the loft is the lovely Carol Reynolds from Pam Golding to guide us through these properties and share her expert advice. Welcome to the loft. Thanks so much for having me. It's great to be here. How it's much would you value our loft? Our loft is a lot of money. Is it sellable? Your loft is very sellable, especially with us in it. Wow, okay. <laughs> so, Carol, I was checking out private property mm. earlier and saw three beautiful homes in Durban North. Tell us about this area and what the property market's doing there. You know, Durban North is one of the most amazing places to live. Mm. It's literally five minutes from the airport, from the beaches, wow. from the CBD. So what we're seeing is the market generally in the country this year has been a little bit uh, cautious. I think there's a bit of political instability and it always has a knock-on effect on property. But the northern corridor of Natal from Durban North right through to Belito is an absolute hotspot. I think what's happened is a lot of Johannesburg families are relocating down there. They're loving the climate and the lifestyle offering. The schools are fantastic. Mm. Um, so we're sitting in a little bit of a bubble, really, and our market is booming, which is fantastic. There's constant demand, mm. and actually we're short on supply at the moment, so it's quite sure. an exciting market to be working in. Yes. That is going to be so interesting, and I think yeah. also with those families that are living there, there's a specific room in the house that's going to be one of the most valuable, and that is the guest bedroom. And it's so exciting because on Winner Home at the moment, our contestants are busy working on their guest bedrooms. Beautiful. What exactly does a guest bedroom do to the property market there? Does it increase it dr drastically, minimally? You know, I think the best way to describe the impact of a guest bedroom is to look at a s its saleability. Yeah. So if you have a property with three bedrooms, you're going to take longer to sell it. Whereas if you add that fourth or particularly a fifth bedroom, mm. we find that the time that it sits on the market is a lot shorter. I'll give you a classic example. We had a home listed at five and a half million in Durban North, an absolutely beautiful home, but it only had three bedrooms. Mm. So it took almost a year to sell. Had it had four or even five bedrooms, it would have sold it in about 45 days. Oh my yeah. word, so that's a big difference. It's yeah. a big difference in terms of the length of time that it takes to sell yeah. a home. And as soon as you have that fourth bedroom, then you're opening up your buyer pool mm. and you've got a wider sector of the market that you're appealing to. Sure. So it is, a, it is definitely a great value add. Speaking of five bedrooms, all mm. these homes that I mentioned earlier have five bedrooms. Yeah. Would you recommend they be sold as they are or maybe turned into an alternative like a home office or... I personally think you should keep the bedrooms as is when you put your property on the market because when a buyer does a search, for instance, on private property, mm. the key words that they look for is number of bedrooms and number of bathrooms. So yes. you actually want to maximise your bedrooms and they're beautiful to decorate. So from a photographic perspective, when you're marketing a home, mm. a guest bedroom really does look aesthetically appealing, mm. um, much nicer than a utility room. And then your estate agent will take the buyers to view the property and tell the buyers about the options for converting mm. that room to say sure. an office or a children's playroom or even a pajama lounge. But I would definitely mm. enter the market with maximum bedrooms and keep them beautifully yeah, decorated. Yeah. Right. Let's yeah. take a look at some that we found. Okay, super. Talk us through these. Uh, this home is in probably the best address in Durban North. It's an absolutely beautiful home. It's got five bedrooms. Um, it's also got a tennis court, a lovely lush garden. I think what people really like about Durban North is that it's a family haven. Mm. Mm. So the homes have lovely gardens, they've, they're Big established gardens, gardens mm. they level for the children to play on. Oh, and that nice. home in particular is perfectly positioned. Spacious too. Absolutely. Uh, this home is one of my personal favourites. It's on a double stand in Durban North. So you can actually subdivide, and, I, and it also sits in a cul-de-sac. So I often think it would be amazing to convert mm. it into a mini estate with two homes. Ooh, yeah. good um, ideas. I love cul-de-sacs. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, so that's a great one. But when it comes to bed, guest bedrooms, those are obviously the most important ones. Uh, yeah. Do you have your, is that, one, is that the one that you enjoyed with the best guest bed, bedroom? Well, there's another guest one bedroom. that we've got that actually sits on Fairway, which is right down on a golf course in Durban North on the Beechwood Golf Course, and then it overlooks the golf course to the sea. This one's mm. got great bones. I always say when you look at a property, you should look for good bones. Because yes. when you've got good bones, then you can tweak it with small cosmetics wow. over time. 
and it's got five bedrooms all en suite. Mm. So you actually Oof. can't really distinguish between the main and the guest uh, bedroom. They're both so beautiful. The proportions are fantastic. Sure. So that really is a special home as well. I think so too. I mean, you just mentioned that that's probably the one that you would say is a great investment piece because that guest bedroom is so beautiful. Yes. And I'm pretty sure everyone around the country is busy liquidating all of their, <laughs> uh, all their other estates that they've got to make sure they can go and invest in this area. And I yeah, see a boom absolutely. coming very, very soon. I think that was also one of my favorites because they get that yeah. open lawn with a fountain. Good it's so flow. beautiful. 100%. Oh, if you've stunning. got good flow and good bones, you can do so much with the property. Oh, Carol, it's an honor to have you in the loft. Thank that. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's been well, great. Well, right down Afternoon Express, we are talking all things homes, and you get a chance to win one. Exactly, Danilla. But first, it's time to announce the winner of that Smeg Retro Stand Mixer. Congratulations to Alicia de Quirker from Brits. And from all of us here at Afternoon Express, we really hope you enjoy the prize. Now, remember that you can now vote for your favourite guest bedroom by simply logging on to privateproperty.co.za. By casting your vote, you stand a chance to win paint from Plascon to the value of 5,000 Rand. You will also be automatically in entered into the grand prize draw where you could win an apartment at Val de Ville valued at over 3 million rand. I mean, that is so ridiculously exciting. Keep your eyes on Afternoon Express every weekday as our three design contestants gradually transform three properties at Val de Ville Estate using finishes provided by Caesar Stone and Plascon. Judging their work are the team from Arc Interiors, Anne Roselt from Plascon and Simon Bray from Private Property. Winner Home is proudly brought to you by private property in association with Nedbank. After the break, we put the finishing touches to our antipasto platter and we'll be right back after this. <laughs>